Hi, I'm Rody for The Developer Show, and this is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. If you've ever had trouble forgetting your password or coming up with strong passwords and changing them often, then you'll be really excited to learn about passkeys. Today, passkeys are enabled for Google accounts. They are more secure than passwords and will work with some of your favorite services like PayPal, DocuSign, and Shopify. Unlike passwords, passkeys only exist on the device where you created them. And if you set up a passkey, you have to do it on each device. Some platforms can securely back up your passkeys and sync them to other devices you own. If you lose a device, you can immediately revoke the passkey in your account settings. For developers, you can learn more at developers.google.com slash identity slash passkeys on how to integrate them into your applications. And for users, you can learn more at g.co slash passkeys. If you love programming and Google technologies and are interested in your tech skills to help your community and are excited to teach other students to code, then we encourage you to apply to be a Google Developer Student Club lead at your university. As a lead, you'll receive mentorship from Google. Join a global community of leaders, share your skills with peers, teach other students to code with Google technologies, and build solutions for real world problems. Check out the regional application window and apply at the link below. Next, we can head over to Android to talk about the ways you can optimize your Android app for large screens and what not to do. There are a lot of resources Google provides for the development of large screens. And even if you don't have a device to test on, there's plenty of virtual ones to emulate. Some of the important takeaways from the article are, don't assume exclusive access to resources. Do handle hardware access gracefully. Do respond appropriately to lifecycle events. Don't stop your app's UI on a pause. Don't rely on device type booleans like is tablet. Do work to replace existing use of device type booleans with the right approach. Do use the window insets padding modifier for Jetpack Compose. Don't assume the device has a touchscreen. Do test your app on large screens. Do leverage large screen tools in Android Studio. You can read more about these optimizations on the Android developers blog. And finally, you can start getting ready for Google I.O. 2023 by starting to plan your sessions and taking a look at some of Android's favorite moments. Stay tuned for some amazing content, such as modern Android development, building for a multi-device world, the platform and app quality, and finally, Android's road to I.O. 2023. You can learn more at developers.googleblog.com. To learn more about all these week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, Subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm ready for the developer show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.